haven't even done anything yet. Goodness. Let's get on with the game. <clears throat> anyway, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Psycho Unstable Journey. Which is a bit of a mouthful. But hopefully it'll be a little bit spooky and a little bit fun. And I say hopefully because I've got no idea what it is. Because I downloaded it. And then so much coursework got in the way, it's been weeks since then. So I've forgotten all about it, but um, I'm glad I can spin on a top. My mother was uh, starring in The Shining, presumably. Now how the heck do I drive this thing? Okay, I can go side to side, but I can't really go... Am I moving forward? Oh, I am moving forward. I've just got about minus three horsepower. Can I fiddle with things? Uh, well, this is my first when I drive to another city. Your first what? Uh, before, I used to fly a plane. Do you mean fly on a plane? Hopefully I'll get there quickly and safely. Well, you won't get there as quickly as on a, um, as on a plane. Can I fiddle with anything else? The weather is not very good today. You call this not very good? I think this goes a little bit beyond that, mate, but I'm no meteorologist. Oh, goodness, it wasn't expected. No, so much so that I wasn't paying any attention. I need to refuel the car. I hope there are gas stations here at all. Wow, that is wonderful. <laughs> Rain, cats and dogs. Yes, I'm also veering over the line. My driving instructor is going to clip me around the ear for that. I, I do sincerely apologise. I, uh, I should get that sorted out a little bit. Do you know what this reminds me of a little bit? If I've ever uh, seen it or played it, it was a little game called Dead End Road. You had to travel down a road a little bit like this uh, to get to a location of demonic mischief. It's a fun little game. I might look that up, see if it's still hanging around for like so many years. I don't know where this gas station is, though. Ah! Ask, and thou shalt receive. Here is a gas station. I need to stop by. Okay, let me turn in here. Get yours. You let go of the accelerator, and the thing careens to a halt. Faster than, faster than the rate of my humour. Right. What some? Um, what make of car is this precisely? Who, who got it with um, IT specialist spectacles and a, and a moustache whom we're not going to reference the owner of? Who, who, who designed this car exactly? Right. Do I need to fit it up, or has that been done automatically by some sort of? Um, enterprising individual. Well, I can't seem to access it, so I'm going to guess that it's already been done. Just like screen tearing. Right, let us go inside and do some paying. Engage in some commerce. Hello, friend. I would like... I, I, I would like to ask why you seem to have... Okay, it is... A, sorry, my sincerest of apologies. I was going to ask why you have some sort of alien parasite bursting out of your chest until I realised you're a woman. My sincere apologies. You look so inhuman that I didn't want to insult every woman on earth by referring to you as one. But never mind. <clears throat> Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. No, presumably because you can't hear the electrician that keeps telling you you de desperately need to give him some work. Hello. I'm talking to you. She, 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 she doesn't seem very enthusiastic. All right, then. I suppose I'll have to do it myself, then. I'll have to... Get, what the hell is that? That's a swan. Hello, Mr. Swan. What is this goose doing here? Well, it certainly sounded more like a goose than a swan, but I think it's... Don't touch him! Oh, finally, you ask. I only had to get the gander's goose in order to get some communication out of you. What the goose is doing here? <laughs> he lives here. Oh, uh, okay. Why were you silent to me before? I've been busy. Well, so have I, but you take a bit of time off work, you don't just ignore the outside world. Okay, you kind of do, but that's not the point. Anyway, <clears throat> do you care? What do you need? I need to pay for some fuel, please. How much do I owe you? Forty-one dollars. Take it. Yeah. I can't tell how enthusiastic that yeah was. Well, I've overly enthusiastic. All very unenthusiastic. Anyway, I'm going to say goodbye to the goose. Bye bye, Mr. Goose. Mwah. 
Love you, Mr. Goose. Right, don't actually try and kiss a goose, they will kill you. Right! I suppose we have completed our business here. I'm going to hope that I start pointing in the right direction on the road, because I'm not going to hit the sideways keys this time. What? I hope I don't get to this gas station again. Now I'm already veering off the road. Wonderful. Well, you're not, are you? Because you're going in a straight line. And it's not that you can drive all the way around the world in order to come back here, because there's a little thing called the ocean. Anyway. Alright. Let's keep on driving. Hopefully we won't run out of fuel immediately again. Good question why this radio station is so quiet. Not particularly complaining. Because... I mean, not complaining, it means the copyright lawyers are also not complaining. It's strange. During the whole ride, I haven't met a single car. Yes, this is a very well-lit road. You'd imagine it would be a bit busier. Either that or the infrastructure investment's pretty good here. One or the other. You know, I never really appreciated just how irritating it is trying to steer a car by pressing buttons until I actually started steering the car with a steering wheel. That's when I realised that no matter how hard we've tried, we've never really taught people to pay attention when they're driving. We've never really mastered driving controls in video games. Right, where am I? Am I alive? Where is my car? Is this a, a lantern? Yes, it's like an old oil lantern that they would have used in Little House on the Prairie. But other than that, it's, it'll do marvellously. Where am I? What kind of place is this? I'm guessing we're not immediately close to where we were before because the lightning seems to have passed. The rain has remained, so at least I feel at home. What's up with all of these stripped trees and the wall of beef? Hello, wall of beef. What is it? Is it alive? <laughs> um. <laughs> I. <laughs> I don't even know the answer to either of those questions. Hello, friend. Can I, can I, can I just, can I just stick my face on here and end it all? Because that would be less confusing. I am a resident of this forest. I live here. What are you doing here? Now I am warming myself by my fire. I am going to have dinner. Is this your dinner? Am I your dinner? What are you going to have dinner with? Meat that you see on the tree. Ah yes, the meat tree! Presumably it fell out of a west of loathing. This is a meat. By the way, will you eat with me? I don't want to eat your meat, mate. I don't want to meet your meat either. No, I probably not. This is very delicious. <laughs> no thanks, it's a bit sort of rain sodden for my taste. Maybe we'll eat tomorrow. Okay, bye bye now. I do find myself wondering, or with the title of the game being Psycho Unstable Journey, am I an unstable psycho that's hallucinating all sorts of different things, or am I just going on a journey and meeting a load of unstable psychos? The car is not damaged, but how? I don't know, but someone's left the indicators on. Right, let's get back inside, get back on the road. The road to hell, presumably, judging by the sudden lighting change. I wasn't expecting massive blood puddles. I feel bad. Do you? Do you have a bad feeling about this? With these dagger-like trees sticking up from the ground. The hellish red tints to everything. What are those? Actually, I should really be paying attention to where I'm going, shouldn't I? I've learned my lesson now. I've made the mistake once, I'm not going to do it again. I seem to be dizzy. Well, then we should probably pull over and have a little rest. You know, drink a cup of coffee and relax a little bit before we have some sort of seizure at the wheel and, uh, you know, die. Or worse, kill somebody else. Can I fiddle with anything else in the car? Radio station or gear knob, gear lever, whatever the hell you wish to call it. Okay, my vision's getting a lot more wobbly. I like the visual effects though, because 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 and now there's a flying manta ray. No, now there's a 
group of flying manta rays. What kind of creatures are those? I've just identified them for you, mate. What do you want, the Latin scientific term? I haven't got that. <laughs> oh, goodness. I do like the visual effects. They're not too overdone. They've come on gently. Right. Have I passed out? And suddenly everything was better. Ah. Oh. Just goes to show the good that 40 winks can do for a viciously hallucinating lunatic. Oh, now we can just go for a nice road trip. I can't believe I got there. Got where? Oh, is this your destination? It was a very hard trip, but I got there. Oh, are we going back now? We, we, have we been there and done that? I'm glad that all this horror is over. Well, not really. It's kind of all that the, you know, all that the channel is. Lorum. Or Lorum. I have no idea. Oh, well, giddy aunt nearly pulled the side of my car off again. Oh, okay. That's that. <laughs> that was, um... That was nice, actually. It's, it's, it's quite ambitious for a game to do both driving and, um... And sort of first person walking around. And changing up the environments enough added enough variety that partnered with the combination of driving and walking. That felt really varied, even though admittedly, you know, it was only you know, 11 or 12 minutes long. That was, um, that was actually really uh, varied and quite pretty. The effects were nice. It was a bit mysterious and weird. I have no idea what that goose was all about, but um, never mind. The goose is most certainly my favourite character and would uh, most, uh, most certainly make for an excellent thumbnail. Help if I remember to turn the recording off, wouldn't it? Probably. Goodness, that went by quickly. Um, am I driving? Oh goodness, sir. yes I am. Oh, I can press forward to speed up as well. Let's get home faster. Let's drive towards the moon. I feel like you're getting paid to name it a lot. What are you blathering on about? I'm not, I'm very uncomfortable listening to you. Yes, exactly, exactly, I don't want that to happen. Survival? Not that again. You are being paid to name that, aren't you? What's that? It's a lot of fire. <laughs> What's disincorporation? I've never heard of that before. Yes, 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 get off with it. I'll get off with that, I mean, get on with it. Right. Wonder who that's going to be. Goodness. I think it's me. And I hate you both already. Oh, for crying out loud, I know it. You get a royalty every time you name it. Now shut up. I Google them.
Well, I'm glad you're honest and upfront about it. Sure you are. Yeah, you seem like the bad one in this good cop, bad cop routine. What's the first question? Yes, let's get on with it. What's all of the first question? You're asking an Englishman this. That is absolutely correct. Yes, it couldn't have been any easier coming from a Brit, could it? Goodness, Garfield the man or Garfield the cat? <laughs> Did he? Right, I'm gonna pretend like I've got a clue what you're whittering on about. What's the next question? <laughs> you're sneaky. I should probably slow down a bit, shouldn't I? <laughs> Instead of just, you know, hammering my floor to, uh, foot to the floor all the time. Not trying to. You get on with the questions already. I can't have to let go of the steering wheel. Oh, I have no idea. Collins? Correct. Yay! That poor man, completely forgotten by the rest of humanity, as, as his friends. What? Until he comes down about the moon landing? What are you blathering on about? Come on, let's get on with it. What's the next question? Hit me with it. I'm very proud of that. Pure luck. At least then I'll be away from you. Oh wait, no, I wouldn't. Oh, for goodness sake. Shut up. Yes, it's me, come on. What's the next question? Dark? We're all gonna die? Showers of blood? Is that a lot? I don't know, I can't read Fahrenheit. At least there's no ads. If we're enthusiastic, aren't you? Alright, they're gonna be really difficult, aren't they? <laughs> like, solve this cubic equation. Oh, goodness, would you stop it with the name dropping? Sounds exciting. Ah, a bit late for that. No idea, but I'm going to guess magnesium was discovered first. Is it? I've never heard of it. <laughs> Muscle death. I'm sorry. What? What does it matter? I've won now. Oh! <gasps> What's happened? Has the moon landing been disproven? What is this thing on the front of my car? Oh no! I thought we were behind all the big spikes. <laughs> that didn't date the video or anything. Okay. I don't know what happens if I bump into the sides. Yeah, you're gonna have to bring them up a bit, kitty yards, a bit closer to my car if you don't want me to dodge them. I'm good with this. Right, let's get back to the questions. Kitty on, I didn't realize I was so good at quizzes. Mind you, the, the answers are very easy. Oh, I haven't got a clue. Wednesday? That's a shame, because again... Why not?
Okay, um, I'm sorry. What? You're asking this to a tone deaf man? I'm guessing C minor. I think I've heard that in reference to Beethoven before. I don't think it is. I'm pretty sure I sing in a C, and that doesn't sound... Well, actually, no, it sounds quite a lot like the way I sing, because I sing terribly. That sounded terrible. Two out of three is not bad. Only needed one. What? Were you... What? You're testing me on my knowledge of the game as well as the questions? <laughs> Well, you know, you got to pretend to be happy, otherwise you'd be miserable. Well, it is the final round. One would hope so. Get on with it. Am I going to get struck by lightning in a minute? Oh, gosh. I'm going to have to look out my left eye and answer with my right. Oh, no. What happened to it being called the lightning spikes round? Oh, 12. I wasn't that fucking idiot. Yes, I don't know what it is I'm driving towards. But, um, yes. yes. I know that's 12. There's one thing I know, it's math. Uh, I have no idea. Uh, I think it's Jupiter. I think Saturn's the fifth one. For goodness sake. Yes, 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 to the I get a royalty every time I say their name. Might as well get down on my knees. Why do you all sound like mobsters? <laughs> what is this, an SCP game? No, that's what we're playing after this. Has or I don't know where I don't know where either of these places are. Yeah, Mr. Elevator. I like cheese. Um, I don't know what either of these are. That sounds a bit like cheese. It, it, it depends on the brand. This one? You, I guess. A Blurvenergov. It's, yeah, 75 kilometers per hour. That sounds realistic. Uh, yeah, seems to be. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, good. No, we're at 18, 19. Uh, yeah, probably. Football, I remember. I at least got that one right. Probably got all the wrong, all the rest wrong. <sighs> at least I'm still alive. Momentarily. Idiot. <laughs> oh, come on. <sighs> Bear. Funny. 56 kilometers per hour. Very, very funny. I'd also hope if it was in miles, because I can esti actually estimate how fast that it'll be in miles. But 75, I mean, that's like the speed of an ostrich, surely. Ostrich has got to be faster than bears. So I was like, I'm doing okay so far. Oh my goodness. No, not at all, because I need to go to bed. Yay! Have I actually won? I'm very suspicious. I don't trust you. Are, we, are you going to be grilling the previous contestants? And I don't mean grilling them with questions. I mean grilling them on the grill. Yeah, we're not on the BBC, mate. Ah, oh, yay. Kitty aunt. Okay, so it's not over yet. Oh, 
Yay. It doesn't matter, does it? I have. <laughs> I suppose not in this day and age. Did I actually get most of those questions right then? Because I'm going to have to Google most of them during editing to find out which ones I actually got right. Because I am genuinely curious. Oh, I think Carl's very upset. Oh, I think my bromance is breaking down. I think Carl's about to start crying in a minute. Does this mean you won't be there? It, it, it! I'll have you know I... I was going to say I have a PhD. No, I don't. Why the hell did I think I was going to say that? Because that's, that's what I wish I had. Beauty, oh, I think someone's getting clobbered. So close. And yet, so far. How far back are you going to put me? Okay, not too far back. What? what are you blathering on about? What you... I wasn't expecting a brain anatomy lesson. An audience? I didn't realise you had this budget, mate. Oh, for goodness sake, would you shut up about that? I don't like beach parties and I don't like you. Well, go and find a hooker on a street corner then. I'm busy. This is what I get for being so delicious. Trust me, mate. If I if I own this, I'm a man that knows knows about trivia. I'm sorry. What? Have I been saved by somebody? My word. Okay, this is what happened last time I died, but now I seem to be being dragged off into the. Uh, up into the great big cardboard box in the sky. Am I on the beach now? Ow, my face. I made it, yay. Now I can wear shorts and sandals. Best answer. It might be something important. Like, I don't know, an excuse for me to leave. <laughs> well done, Jackson. Well done. You made something really unique, really fun, and, um, genuinely really weird. Okay, that was Drive Time Radio. I don't think I ever actually told you what the name of the game was, but uh, never mind. It's always in the title bar, so as I've said before, it doesn't matter that I never tell you the names of these things. Wow, that was actually really fun. That was really silly. Um, I liked how the questions, some of the questions were genuinely quite funny and quite entertaining. Um, <laughs> that was, I don't know, that was just fun. That was really nice. And it was a nice blend of different things with the comedy and the horror and the, um, the actual trying to figure out what the answers were and also trying to not die in the, um, in the process of avoiding all those big spikes. So, uh, yeah, a nice little blend of different things and little bite-sized bits of fun. I rather enjoyed that. I hope you did as well. 
So that was Drive Time Radio. Thank you very much for joining us this evening, ladies and gentlemen. Look after each other and good night. <laughs>